Today we're going to get started tuning this uh, Chevy truck. This thing is in awesome shape. Uh, it's got a bunch of really nice parts on it. It's turbocharged. Took me a couple minutes to find the ECU. <laughs> Working with a Holley Dominator here. Uh, I'm just gonna say it like it is. This thing runs absolutely horrible. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is pull the file out of the ECU and take a look at it. I'm like kind of genuinely curious to see how it's so far off. But to put it into perspective, if I wanted to pull this out of the shop right now, it'd probably take every bit of like 10 or 15 minutes. Download this and then we'll take a look. Here's our file. Uh, first thing I always do is look at the fuel table and uh, you can see right away we got something going on over here. The next thing I'll look at is the fuel graph. And again, you can see there's something going on here. In learn table, you never know if it's gonna be populated or not, but always look at that. And uh, I got a 60, 60% correction going on over here. So actually still 15, 20% down here. So based off of this alone, my assumption is going to be that we have a fuel pressure problem. Hopefully that's not the case because we're gonna have to put it on the dyno to see if we actually do have a fuel pressure problem. Yeah, this, this isn't so good so far. Either way, this doesn't explain how it starts so bad. Uh, let's see what else we got. Target air fuel ratio looks reasonable. That's pretty aggressive. So is that normal? Uh, quite a bit of cold start enrichment, zeroed out. If you wanted to go skiing, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Four bar. Blah, blah, blah. That's nice we have NTK sensor on this. Uh, I think this is IGN-1A coils on it. So set up for custom so we can adjust the dwell. So that's good to see they did that. Not really using much there. Forty hundred. Um, nothing for individual cylinder. Idle. All right, so if this thing has to idle at 975 when it's warm, then a thousand RPM is not gonna work when it's cold. I'm sure that's a part of it. Um, this IC perk position looks really low too. Um, it's probably playing a pretty big role in the startup. It's just default settings there. I can probably bring that up a touch. Definitely need to raise that. Um, Maybe somewhere in the ballpark, we'll clean that up a whole bunch. Zero it out, zero it out. Got a dome pressure sensor. Huh. It's a lot of ECU to be using one input. settings. This does have the high flow valves on it. These settings usually are pretty far off. Um, these are more for like the Mac valves. Okay. Advanced tables. Nope. Right, so we have a fuel flow offset while on the trans brake. Uh, so I guess we're trying to add fuel while on the two step. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. All right. I think that's going to do it uh, as far as what we need to look at. 
Yeah, I'm gonna start all over again on this whole file. This thing needs a lot of love. So the real, the real question is gonna become, is this running so bad because something is wrong with the setup or is it just the settings here in the computer? And I saw a whole lot of things that I would, I would wanna change. Maybe not necessarily like any one individual things like, oh, okay, this is why it's running so bad. Save this. Yeah, I'll build a new map for it and we will start it and see what it wants to do. Uh, actually, I actually have another car that's gonna be here for the dyno in a few minutes, so this probably, I'll probably build this map either this tonight or tomorrow morning. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it's gonna run a little bit better. And no doubt the plugs are probably wiped out on it, so uh, we'll see if it'll run with what's in there. Doesn't matter what ECU you're using, firmware updates are always stressful. So far this one's moving along pretty good. I think I'm gonna try and start it. Looks like the fuel pressure sensor isn't reading. And I'm not confident that the injectors that I'm told are in this are what's actually in it. And I also don't think we have enough battery for it to start. But it started so bad before that if it tries to crank, it should be way better. And if it doesn't, then we might have some even bigger problems on our hand. But I'm sure the battery's too dead to start. Let's see. Cool. All right, let this thing charge for a few hours. Answered 100,000 emails. And it'll start and run enough to just be able to back it over to where the dyno is so I can set it up on the dyno before I go home so it's ready for tomorrow since today was kind of shot. Looks like the sensors are reading right other than fuel pressure, but I can mess with that in a little bit. But again, I I don't think these injectors are what they are, so this is kind of like a blind guess. Let's see if they'll do anything. forever it might just not have had any fuel pressure but it's already running somewhere between six and seven thousand percent better than it ran before so i should at least be able to move it let's see if it shuts off when you put it in gear like it did before yep all right so still obviously a ton of work to do but at least it's a step in the right direction i guess so first guess on the mystery injectors isn't too far off and uh, let's see, idle, PCI C positions in 96%. So much, most likely most of our uh, idle uh, stall out issue and whatnot, it's all gonna get fixed under the hood more so than what's in the computer. All the values I have in the computer right now should be pretty damn close and they're not. So we'll make some adjustments under the hood. Let's see if this is any better. So I kind of can't accurately describe how bad this thing ran before uh, compared to the way that it's running right now. So now the million dollar question is, do we actually have a fuel pressure problem or was the tuning just that far off? Visually looking at everything under the hood, I mean, it all looks right. It's, you know, decent parts like air motive regulator, not, you know, some knockoff thing and the lines are routed nicely and correctly. I think I don't have much of a choice. And unfortunately there was no data log stored in the ECU, just the crazy learn table. So I think I'm just gonna have to put it on the dyno and move forward as if there is no fuel pressure problems. And then uh, if we start dropping pressure, then, you know, we might have to investigate. But I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that that's not the case because I really do not feel like dropping the tank in this thing. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it. ready to get started on this. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see how the cold start's gonna go. 
Uh, worst part about cold start is you kind of get one shot at it. Uh, I'm going to open the door, plug the fan in, and kind of get ready to go. And based off of the first start yesterday, I'll probably make a couple little changes. And we'll see if the thing won't cold start at all. About to start this for the first time. I don't like the way the fuel pump sounds and takes a while to build pressure. So I increased the fuel pump prime and made some corrections to, well, I guess they're not corrections because it might make it worse. But I'm assuming that uh, the cranking fuel needs a little bit of tweaking. And I changed something else. What the hell did I change? Uh, the after start enrichment. And my assumption is that it's going to fire and then the idle is going to surge a little bit before it smooths out. But I need to get it to fire first and then we'll come back and uh, tweak on the, the idle after the fact. Yeah, let's see what happens. So I don't know if you can hear the fuel pump. Sounds weird. All right, let's see if it'll start. Fucking kidding me. God damn it. Battery's dead again. I meant to leave the charger on this thing last night and I forgot. It's still crazy that the thing kills the battery so fast. Must have some sort of a draw. All right, let's see if this will work now. That's not quite what I was expecting, but again, based on how bad this ran, I figured we were going to have to do some out of the ordinary type of stuff. So it already has a little bit of heat in it, so this isn't really 100% cold start anymore, but I'm pretty sure that the problem uh, isn't in the cranking fuel. It's after the fact now, so we can still sort of play with it a little bit. And then this, this isn't going to leap today, so I can try this again tomorrow as well. <laughs> time idle's actually more stable than I was expecting uh, let's try something else real quick this might make it worse I expect I'm probably gonna take this back out but we're gonna throw a bunch of cranking fuel at it Let's see if we can get it to catch while it cranks a little bit better. It cranks longer than I'd like, but I think it's just taking a while for it to sink. some video of how this thing cold started before uh, so you would see this thing is like a Cadillac now in comparison but it still needs a little tweaking all right made some pretty big changes temperature based cranking and some idle stuff IC park position Let's see if it's any better now <laughs> 